Hello everyone, so today I want to show us how to make our clustered bar chart look more visually appealing. So this can be used to show the progress of a bar chart. So let's get started. So I'll choose a clustered bar chart and I want to see my sales by segment. So I have my sales by segment, I'll just adjust it. Then the next thing I want to do is to, I have a measure here called total. So the measure is saying total equals to one and the total will be in percentage. So it's going to be a hundred percent. Now I want to put my total on my x axis. So I'll put my total on my x axis. So we have this. So the next thing I want to do is to make sure that my sales is in percentage of one total. Percentage of one total. So we have this. For the total, we have for the total we have the dark blue, and for the sum of sales we have the light blue. So I'll be formatting my visual now. So format my visual out of the legends. I don't want to see the legends. Then I want to go to the bars. So this is where the tricking comes in. I'll go to the bars and uh, under layout, I want the space between. First, let me first um, use this overlap. So I'll turn on my overlap. I want to overlap and I want the flip overlap. So the next thing I would not do is, this is not showing very well. So I want the space between series to be 100%. So I want the space between series to be 100%. So we have 100%. So space between categories can be 40%. This is just to allow our bars to breathe. So we have 40%, so we have some a tight, a more tiny bars. So yeah, so the next thing I want to do is to turn on my data labels. So I want to see my data labels on turn turn. Yes, so I have and uh I'll, for the bars, I want the colors. I want to format the colors too. So the colors I want for the blue, the dark blue, I want it, which is the total, I want it to be ash, this ash color, so so that we can see something like this. So also, the next thing I want to do is, um, I'll take it back, or the series back to all. Then, the next thing I want to do is to go back to um, the data levels. So data labels, data labels. Yes, I want to format my data labels, and I want it to be. I don't want to show for all the series. I want to. I don't want to see the hundred percent in essence. So for total, I want to off it. I want to off it. So I only want to see for the sum of. Uh, I only want to see for this. So I put everything at all back. Then uh, I can decide to leave it like this. I can change the color of the bar of the blue bar to another color. So, um, so the next thing I want to do is I want to ensure that going back to my bars, I want the space between categories to be um, maybe sixty percent. I want the bars to be tinier here yeah? and. Uh, or maybe 50 percent then so we have this progress bar we have this progress bar like this so i'll add a slicer add a slicer or add a slicer so for my slicer slicer i want to see it by um, country so if i choose canada and see that the exchanges by choose funds is moving accordingly. 
is moving accordingly. So that is how to make a progress bar. In that's how to make a progress bar using clustered bar chart. So another thing I may want to do is to go ahead and format my chart and format my visual. So under the bars again, instead of having under the layout, so instead of having um, the flip overlap, I can turn the flip overlap off so you can see what it looks like. So if the flip overlap is off, we can see all of this. So you can see this is another way to format it. So it's showing you what it looks like. So another thing you may want to do is to go back to your visual. So under the bar, still under layout, uh, still under layout. I'll turn on my flip overlap back. And um, for the space between categories or space between series this time, space between series, I don't want to sit as 100%. So I can say I want to sit as 75. So or I can say I want to sit as, let me put it at 50. So you can see it's not totally overlapping. So I can decide to put it at 42. So you can see the way it works. For the space between categories, I can try to change it to 20. So you can see. So you can always work around this space between category and space between series.